damn knuckle busting fucking son of a Today we're gonna install the air compressor. Why do we need an air compressor, you ask? Well, when we're out wheeling, we might want to let some of the air out of the tires to get a little better traction. But before we get back on the highway, we need to air the tires back up. We chose the Viair 400H. This is a permanent mount unit. They also make units that are portable. Now we could have mounted this anywhere we wanted to, in the cabin or possibly underneath. Uh, we're going to put it in the engine bay. Probably not the best place to put it though, because an uh, air compressor does generate a lot of heat. And uh, in addition to the engine heat, it might be too much, but uh, it's the most convenient place for us to mount it. So we're gonna give it a try. If it uh, does overheat too much, we'll move the location to somewhere else. Okay, now I'll just mark the holes where we need to drill. Now our fender well isn't exactly square and flat, so we're going to use these nylon bushings on the back side to uh, level it out. I'm cleaning off the gunk and the corrosion from this ground wire here. And this is where we're going to ground the air compressor as well. Alright, we have the compressor mounted to the inner fender well. And what's nice about it is there's little rubber isolating feet on it so it doesn't vibrate the heck out of the uh, truck when it's running. Uh, we have power to it. And now we have to route some air that goes You did better the first time when you touched it. Okay, now after that, we have to route some air into the compressor. Now the manufacturer gives us this nice little air filter. It has a uh, element in there. And they recommend that you put it someplace where it's not going to get all wet. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this through a hole in the firewall that's already there into uh, right behind the uh, glove box. And that's where we're going to mount that. Alright, so here's the hose. Oops, and they give you plenty of it. We're going to uh, cut it off just long enough to where we can bring this out to replace the filter in there. This is, this is the filter they give you to put in there. They give you a couple extras. So we're just going to cut it off here and then uh, and place it back in there. Okay, so let's see if this goes all the way around to the back. Yes, it reaches. This also came from Vaillere and it both inflates and deflates. <laughs>